Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here with another instalment of my Alice in Wonderland junk journal. <coughs> Excuse me already. Anyhow, I have... <laughs> yeah, I've already done a bit. I forgot to switch camera on, but when I say a bit, I mean a bit. All I've done is stick that pocket on. Yeah, then I, I looked up to check if I was still in frame and realised I've not even switched camera on. So you've missed my stick A pocket on. Wow. So yeah, what I'm doing today is I want to get some pockets and tucks in so that we can start filling it up and then we can decide if this junk journal is too thick and needs a few more pages taken out because we've got an awful lot of pages there in each signature, haven't we? So yeah. And I decided to start with the back signature i've put that pocket there in the front because i didn't i think we've got enough going off on that page there i will probably put some kind of corner pocket on there uh this one i want to put perhaps in fact i'll get one out now we've got a lot of these aren't we these postcards and the gorgeous and i don't want to do much with them You'll find a lot of the things I incorporate in this journal are not going to have much done to them and not be altered very much at all because a lot of them I think are just gorgeous enough on their own. Oh look at that, look at that, look at the big Cheshire cat. Oh look at that, look at that. I'm going to be like that all the way through. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We're in Poundland, it's only a pound. Um, what 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 more do you need? You don't need any more, do you? On that page, that's, we just that's all we need. So, yeah, <laughs> put some pockets in. Yeah, I'll put that back in box for now because we don't want to lose it. So we've got pocket number one there, <clears throat> and what I'm making the pockets from to start off with is, you know how we made the signature covers from a folded piece of twelve by twelve. These were the strips that came off either the top or the bottom and they're perfect for pockets. Some ended up being taller than others because some of the pages had a bit cut off the top and a bit off the bottom, didn't they? So we're going to get some varying heights in these. What happened to that? Oh, yeah, I decided I didn't want a second red page in. So I've already took a red page out. We don't need two blank red pages in it. In each signature so that's gone that will appear in alice point two o is that i don't know how you say it so sure woman we've got a pocket there i want to do the same on the reverse of this page and i want to use this i think it goes lovely i think yes i can definitely get two pockets from this one most definitely so let's get the chopper back out. I'm just going to mark where this pocket's going to come to. I will be sewing these pockets on the machine. I won't be sewing on camera. I can't find a good setup for sewing on camera. That allows me to actually see properly where I'm sewing. I know I did do a bit on a recent video, but it was very wonky sewing. I don't want wonky sewing on this journal. I just don't. Right, so that's going to be another pocket. I'm not even inking around edge. I don't think, I honestly don't think it needs it. Not everything needs inking. I don't think it's going to add anything. So I'm just leaving it. All right, let's get the glue. I'm using Cosmic Shimmer. I'm leaving this one as a pretty deep pocket. I'm going to glue along edges and bottom so it's really more of a craft with me this today than a tutorial so i'm just cracking on with the journal this is how i would do it if i were not on camera so, i'm not going overboard with glue because i ha i am i'm doing it again from the matches on where they don't belong i am gonna stitch as well so there we have it. And there we go. 
it doesn't come right up into the corner because we don't want any trouble turning this page we don't want it catching there so what other three signatures other four signatures for a wild woman there you go can work better so that's another pocket let's look at what else we'll be doing <clears throat> Right, this one's going to need something, isn't it? This, I think I might want to do a little bit of collaging on this page with some scraps that are left over, yeah? So I'm obviously not going to do that now because we haven't got the scraps yet, have we? So the red page, put your chopper out of the way. I think that red page says, saying to me I want a side pocket and I want something tucking in sideways so let's look what we've got that needs to be a bottom or a top pocket i don't want to turn those words sideways what's this that could make a nice ah then the words would be upside down so that needs to be a side pocket on this side can we should we no I want, I want a side pocket that way so I'll save that for the front of the signature what else we got oh that could be two pockets mm -hmm. I think that's too more shallow than I want though That would look good on the front. Let's have a look. And we'd have this piece on the front that says a long tail at the beginning of the book. We'd still get but I like that. Yes, I do. So I'm just gonna remove that page. It's like I've started off without a plan really, other than to get some pockets in. <clears throat> so I can't tell you at the beginning of the video what I'm getting up to because that's not how I work. I start playing and messing and that's how I decide what is going to occur. Where I'm going to put things, what I'm going to do with things. I quite often decide to do one thing and as I'm doing it I'm like, oh, but I could do that instead. So if I decided to do a certain video on a certain type of pocket and I had an idea halfway through I'd be like... I really can't wait to finish this and get that other pocket done. Right, where's my pencil mark? Where's my pencil mark? Where is it? I'm terrible, me. I make my pencil marks so small, I then don't know where they are. That's twice I've done that now. Which side did I even put it on? Oh lord, I'll tell you what, let's do the pencil mark here where it's lighter and I can actually see it. I just want to measure the depth of these pockets again. There we go. Sorted. There we go. So your voice keeps going as well. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe too much talking. Yeah. So that's going to go there. I'm going to grab a little bit of glue and get that stuck down. It eliminates the need to have to put glue on the that side when you've got one piece of paper folded over Wee. I'm giving up on that glue again I don't know what is I don't know why it's doing it it comes out for so long then it stops so I'm going to use this art glitter and when it's used up I'll fill it up with the cosmic shimmer glue that's what Tanya at Tatty Treasure does and 
as far as I'm aware, she's not having any problems. Let's put you on. I've just put glue on the one side. I want to get that glued on before I turn over. Glue the other side. Yep, that's fine. Only goes up to the crease. We shouldn't have any. Or should we? I, I think I'm going to just take a little sliver off actually. Might be a bit too near crease. This being the in, inner page which is slightly smaller. So I've just took a tiny sliver off. Or two tiny slivers. You can see how tiny they were. But they're just going to... Yeah. They're just going to help that to close more easily. There and there. Again, if you're not sewing, put more glue on than me. I'm going to sew. In fact, where I'm making this off camera, I would put a really teeny tiny bit of glue on because I won't be as scared of it falling apart during video. Because <laughs> there won't be a video, would there? Yeah. So, there we go. Two pockets. And then I always put it back in the book to see how it looks when I've done something on a page. <clears throat> Sorry to keep clearing my throat. I've got my lozenges in but uh, I'm very crookedy. Crookedy? Is that even a word? So we've got uno pocket. Oh, no I can't speak French. Don't know why I said that. One pocket, two pocket, three pocket. And we want to go to the back of the book and we've got four pockets. So already we've got places to put four things. We've got our centre pockets. So that's eight things we can tuck in already. It's really amazing how quickly these spaces to tuck things do appear. Oh, that's a place to tuck something. <clears throat> that's also a place that's saying put something on me. Right, black page. Oh, I think we need something with a bit of gold on this, don't you? It needs to stand out. So let's have a look. See, that's not got gold on. These are the pages from the Alice Gold pad. And what I want to do, I just want to make some kind of really big tuck spot so something can go in the side. I don't know what we've got. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. I do love these. Mm. Do we want one that you can write on? I don't think I do. I think I want to use one of these. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut these out. Excuse me while I fussy cut. I really don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I think I like that posh one in the middle. Oh, that one's good. Trust me to want the one in the middle. That one's nice. They're all nice, Julie. Shut up. They're all as equally nice as each other. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Plus they're all absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going for this one. So yeah, I just really want to attach this to the page <clears throat> to create a tuck spot. These are so pretty. With the bits of gold on. Yeah, I'm a bit late filming this video as well today. I'm filming it at the time when it should actually be going up on YouTube. Because I had a bit of a nana nap again. It only lasted four hours. Must have needed it to sleep that long. It's, it's Saturday. I got up pretty early, or up at quarter to seven, pottering about, doing stuff, tidying, hoovering, getting washing done. Then I had a 
couple of hours with Rachel. We watched some TV and had some mad discussions. And then I came up to cry and I started to fussy cut some of these Alice images out. Just a few that I'd not finished cutting. And my eyes were literally closing. And this were about 12 o'clock. So I thought I'm going to have to have a nap. And I woke up at five. So yeah, bye bye Saturday afternoon. So I do apologise if this video has gone up far later than... This has just taken far too long for me to cut because I'm filming in electric light and I'm struggling to see. So the next one I will do with the trimmer. It's This gold is reflecting on the blade of the scissors as well. Now I could have got my corner rounder out for those corners but I've been brave and done with my scissors. There we go. So that's going to go on the page. I want some kind of tuck. I think it also needs something, something, something. I've got my doilies out here. I will be scattering quite a few doilies throughout this journal. I do like that. And I've shopped my stash and found these papers. Ta -da! And I've found some buttons. So I've got the black paper with the white polka dot and oh I've got I have still got some of the white paper with the black polka dot and some stripe I don't know but I think they'll go well with this collection. I've also found some buttons some cream with but you can't even see these cream with black spots and black with the off-white creamy spots. So under this tuck spot I think we need Where's it gone? We're not going to see the doily if I use that, are we? Plus I've just lost card, I've just spent like 23 days cutting out. Where's it gone? Why it's there under my nostrils? Yeah. So I think I want some kind of border with that paper. A bit of doily showing. We could perhaps then get away with a top tuck and a side tuck. Yeah, that I'm liking. I certainly am. So let's mark this. I think I want to cut there. Let's try marking on the other side, woman. Mark it on the other side where you can see it. And around about there. So, choppity chop. I want to round those corners. I'm going to use my small one. The drave and try using it the proper way around. Now it's already mucked a corner up. Why does it do that to me? user error probably. Let's try the bigger corner to get rid of the mucked up bit. I still use it though because it's so handy having the three sizes all in one punch. You can keep handy on your table. So there we go. I want to doily. If I'm going to have that as a tuck spot, I'm going to have to cut this doily down, aren't I? Because we don't want someone trying to tuck something in this pocket and it getting caught up on a doily. So, do I even need the doily anymore or does the doily need to go somewhere else? Let's have a look-see. I just got it in my head I wanted a doily against this black and now I'm not so sure. I think I've changed my mind. I think when we've got something tucked in there, 
it's going to be enough isn't it well that's what I think anyway yeah so we'll have something we can have a tag going in the top there and then I can have a journal card going in the side there I do I think that's going to be enough busyness on the page without the doily I really do so let's stick this down yeah go for it and again I might do a bit of sewage on this sewing sewage yeah let's clear the nozzle yeah I'm in quite a chilled mode now <laughs> I'm now thinking do I want the side took there and the top took there yes I do I want the side took there and the top took there so I want to glue oh, it could be an open tuck like so no no it wants to be just a top tuck yeah it does stop ch changing your mind woman I'm putting a bit more glue on this because I don't know if I'm going to sew it. I don't think I want to sew over that uh, lovely gold. I just don't think it's necessary to be adding sewing for sewing's sake. And I'm doing all the sewing in black anyway. You wouldn't see it very much. No. I'm not trying to line this up evenly top and bottom I'm trying to make sure I line it up so the dots don't look mad on either side Ooh, bit of squidgeage let's grab it oh I've just remembered that these huggies get a bit fluffy oh this one seems to be behaving any that seeped there we have it is that straight it seems straight enough for me is it straight I've no idea if that's straight it's kind of <laughs> that's the kind of day I'm having well bring your journal back out woman well we're having it there yes we're having it there could even have it at an angle what do we reckon everything in wonderland's not lined up to within an inch of its life could have it at an angle and then i could have my doily there or my doily there i've just got this thing about wanting to get this doily on this page haven't i i just think i do This is going to be the side tuck now, isn't it? If I put a dial on, it's just going to interfere with anything sticking in page. So stop fantasizing about putting a doily on that page, woman. Stick down what you've got and shut up. It's not going to happen. That's me told, isn't it? But do you know what? I do want that at an angle. I want it a little bit at an angle, which is very unusual for me. But there you go, I've done it. I've done it. Right. I need something. I'm going to nick that bit of paper. There we go. If it squidges, I do prefer to poke this, poke it out with the corner of something. I think it gives you a neater finish. So, 
So we've got that. It's always tea time. Yeah, I can live with that. I mean, you wouldn't even know there were going to be any tuck spots there to look at it, would you? I'm going to have to remember which, which way is which. That's the top one. <laughs> and that's the side one. Yay. There we go. So we'll just leave that page be. Ooh. Another one that's going to need something. But we've got this envelope to decorate. Now, it's going to have a window on the other side. And this one's just probably going to be a little top tuck. I'm going to stick that down. Because that's what I like to do with these. I think in one of the other signatures I did stick that down, didn't I? But as well as sticking it with that, I'm going to come in and put a little bit of glue around the edge, outside the line where it's own adhesive is. I'm struggling for words an awful lot today. Just to make sure my edges are going to be glued down. There we go. And I think we're having a top or a side tuck on these. Should we make these side tucks? <coughs> In which case need to come in and take a sliver off there and a sliver off there when I've showed you the kind of things I do for this one signature decorating I am going to go ahead and do the others off camera because yeah it would say there would be many many hours of video if I videoed everything I was doing in this journal throughout the whole journal so don't be thinking oh well is she going to decorate rest it at this speed probably not I'll probably do it quicker off camera <clears throat> and also I'll have decided kind of things I want during this signature so we've got that then over there behind there we've got the one with the window we don't know what's going in one with window yet we'll figure that out but I think we also need a thumb notch, don't we? What's that look like? That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to grab my one inch punch for this. Just my little one. We just need a little teeny tiny thumb notch. <laughs> I've, got, I've got drops here. There's there. What's that? So we'll pop that back in. Right, this, this side, this is getting a doily on, I'm telling you. This side of here is getting a doily on if it kills me. And I think, I, want, I just love this against, I know it's a different shade of black. Well, it's grey actually, it's not black. But it goes. And I want a doily. I want a corner pocket on here with a doily on and then an Alice image. That's what I've decided. So that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to put my doily over there. And I'm going to cut there. So I'll get my chopper out. Might layer this up with some kit page as well. Right, so I'm going to have to cut some off there. Put the doiler back on. Yeah, that fits nicely. So, 
Do I want it to go out where to end or not? Am I going to sew this page? No, I decided I wasn't sewing this page, didn't I? So, I am just going to cut a random. I'm just going to cut a random bit off there. And that's how big my pocket's going to be. I just want to get a doily on this page. There we go. We've got a doily on the page. Mama's happy. <laughs> and that's calling for a fussy cut. So let's see what we've got. <sighs> we don't want the tea party. We don't want that. We don't want that or that. Curious. I, do, I, do, I like that across the doily. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Curious and curious uh, across that doily. That's what's occurring there then. And then we can have something peeking out of the envelopes. Curious and curious there. Uh, and you've got to peek in the envelope, see what pops out. Of course you have. I don't know if any of these things are right height for these envelopes, you know. Mm, not right width. I don't know what I'm putting in them. Ooh, what's that? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's a little bit too tall, but he could get cut down to fit in there. There's nothing <coughs> stopping me. Is there? Would he fit that way? Playing peekaboo? No, it's just not cutting mustard, that is it. He needs. I'm going to cut that down and put him in there. So I'll put him there to remind me. For now, I'm going to stick this on because I like it. I'm going to stick the doily to that first. Yeah, I'm going to put some glue around the edges. And in the middle... I'm going to put some glue stick. Some of my Elmer's Extreme. I don't like what happens to glue stick when you put it over the really holy parts of doilies though. It's just not nice. It's not nice and it's not pretty. You probably can't even see me putting this glue stick on because I'm just... Oh, you can just. So just around there. So here you go, doily. I'm happy now I've got a doily on my project. <laughs> when you first put glue on a doily, it looks as though it's made an awful mess of it. But as it dries, that disappears. It looks very strange. Well, it does with these doilies I use. So that's that. Could also make that into a tiny little tuck, couldn't we? took something in it. I'm going to glue the sides and the bottom then and make a tiny tuck out of it. So I've got lots of little playing cards to tuck all over this journal. I'm going to glue the bottom as well because I don't want whatever we're popping falling out. I just want that straight as I put this on. But I'm still eyeballing it. I'm not getting too OCD. That looks straight enough to me. So I'm now going to attach the pocket. I'm not doing any pockets with, uh, you know, like you put the fold over gusset on so you can fit more in the pocket. Don't need to do that with this album. We've got lots of pages. If you want to fill an album up that's not got as many pages, it's a fabulous way to do that. You can fit, obviously fit more in each pocket if you've not got as many of those big overstuffed pockets. I like to put plenty of pages in so people have got plenty of room to journal. So, pop that on. I'm pretty happy with that, I like it. Curiouser and curiouser. I 
I just have to keep doing this to keep seeing the full effect. <laughs> Did I knock the glue score? I didn't get any on it, thankfully. Nightmare with glue. So, oh yeah, I really like that page. Again, nothing fancy, but it's got something in it that just, wow. Right. Oh, we've got the big pages here. Yeah, they made it quite thick. These definitely need some kind of embellishment on. I think it's time to cut out some cards and start dotting them around. That's what, I mean, that's going to look lovely with a little card there, perhaps a heart. Do you know, I'm really glad I've stuck that on at an angle for a change because I can be a little bit. OCD <laughs> and as we say not everything in Wonderland is straight I've got that pocket that pocket pocket plenty of space to journal these planar pages that I like to leave for journaling I will fit things on with paper clips I will put over the page embellishments and decorations are on the page I don't know what to do with that bag Maybe I will just leave that one plain, I don't know. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's turn over and look at the other side of this black paper. What can we do on here that's a bit different to the other side? Right. Well, we had a corner pocket there, didn't we? So it's tempting for me to want to put another corner pocket on. But... I think I want to do I want to do a stacked pocket kind of thing. I think. Do I? I think I could. And I think I want to use some of the design paper and some more spots. <laughs> I'm loving these spots. I've really taken to them. Right. Let's grab this. What we got? I really wish I could have that as a pocket sideways, but it's not just going to work. We're going to have to... I don't even think I'm going to get to use that as a journal card. It's far too big. I think I'm going to have to use that tucked into... I'll make a pocket on the inside or uh, back cover to tuck that in. That's the only place I think I'm going to be able to use it. So I keep looking at this and finding out, yeah, it's the same pictures as it were last time. Um, no. What have I done with other part of this? Here it is. Let's have a look at other part of Paper Pad Woman. Don't rip all your bits that are already cut out. There you go. So what have we got left? We could do a giant picture tuck spot, I suppose. We could. I think I'm going to need pieces from the 8x8 pad. Oh, let's look what we've got. You could just do a different kind of tuck spot with I do love these. To make tucks and pockets from because they're completely blank and come back. You're not losing anything, are you? But then it just seems a little bit plain and simple just to use those as tuck spots and leave it at that. We've got our cards. Hmm. It's always tea time. Yes, it is always tea time. I could do a cup of tea actually. And I've got one child asleep and one with earphones on. What good's that to me? That's just yeah, that's not slave labour, is it? What else we got? I'm very much in, I can't decide what to use in this journal mode at the minute, as you've noticed. I've, I've lost the ability to cut into the paper. Oh, we've got big cards. Do you know what, Tanya? I think you might get your wish on this page. Tanya at Tatty Treasure uh, is dying for me to put a belly band in this made out of cards. And don't tell her, but I'm going to do one anyway. <laughs> it just screams for it, doesn't it? 
do I want it there? I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to do a belly band made out of cards. I'm not going to put you through the pain and discomfort of watching me fussy cut these cards after the speed it took me to cut one journal card in dark. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to bob down into my kitchen where I can actually see to fussy cut at night. I'm going to fussy cut some cards and I'll be back. Two ticks. And I'm back. Right, I've cut out eight of the playing cards, which I've cut them from the 12 by 12 paper. And eight were just one strip. Yeah, so I've cut those out. I'm going to move those two pages out of the way. Myself a bit of room to work. <laughs> So I want to, I'm going to use a piece of paper to put them on. I don't know what yet. So I'll have a piece of paper going down and I'm going to arrange the playing cards down it in some sort of fashion. I've just got to decide which piece of paper to use. So let's look through our scrappy bits. It's not going to be that one. We've decided I want that one for a pocket. So I've got my box out behind me now to put in the bits I don't want again today. Uh, we could mm, not lined up. If these were lined up perfectly, I could have just cut a strip. But no, we'd have got half a card on. Abandon that idea, woman. What about the 8 by 8 inch pad, though? What could we have just put? Oh, that would have looked good, wouldn't it? Just a strip or two. No. <laughs> change your mind we don't need them or that or could we use this could we use that as the belly band because we'll cover up the bits where it says 12 it's an 8 by 8 inch paper pad could be a way of using this cover but we've got that lovely paper behind that cover anyway haven't we I don't know that's a possibility I'm thinking possibly. Let's get back to the bigger strips that we've got. Use some of those. We have got some that go sideways, I think. Ooh, that'd be nice. A piece of that against the black. That would look nice. And I've been the cards dotted up it. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, I want to use a piece of that. So our pages are eight. Are they eight tall? I forgot how tall our pages are. I tell you, having a memory does speed up your scrapbooking. Yeah, it's eight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get the big unwieldy chopper out for a second and cut this down to eight inches. Ready for my belly band. I'm gonna do it that way. So that's eight inches and I want, I'm going to cut off a piece, two inches, no, three inches, two and a half inches wide. I'll never make a decision, will I? So I've got a piece of paper that's eight inches tall, two and a half inches wide. It is a pretty chunky belly band at the moment. Move your behind pages as well, woman. Move you behind and you're in front pages. Leave yourself just with that one page. So that's going to go down there. I might put some more black cardstock on this, I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'm going to use all these cards. I think I want, I want the cards out, poking off the edge, so that's far too wide, isn't it? I need it narrower. I need it one. I need it one and a half inches wide, even two. One and three quarter inches. I'm going to cut that down again to one and three quarter inches. So I've wasted a bit of paper. The world's not ended. 
so one and three quarter inches that's better I like that better that can go on something else I'm not going to waste any of this I keep making junk journals till I've used it all up I've also made that a bit too tall did I not measure correctly obviously not yeah I want it like that So the cards poke out. Start with the black at the top, then a red, black. I want it to finish with the ace of hearts at the bottom. And I want them all to go at slightly different angles. yeah that's what i want i want it to go like that and i want to swap that art and that diamond round because i do uh -huh. yeah that's what i want i'm gonna need to cut the height of that down a smidge just a smidgen I'm just gonna nibble it down and check yeah, that's spot on now. So I'm going to put the cards on before I attach this to the page. So we started off with that six at the top. I'm going to place them again. I know I've just moved them. Because I'm a bit daft like that. I just want to vary the angles of them slightly. I don't think I want to go black, white, black, white because black, red, sorry, because then we get different colours sticking out. That's better. That's better. Yeah. Much happier with that. Then we'll get the ace of hearts at the bottom. Yeah. So I just need a way to stick them on now without mucking it up. Sure. It's going to have to be the top one I stick on first, isn't it? So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to slide this out from underneath. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, so we've pretty much left those as we want them. So I will just transfer each card over. And this time I'm going to give these a little bit of an inking, just to give them that bit of definition. They've already got a bit of inking around the edge so we need this I'm really nervous about how and where to put the glue on this I'm just going to concentrate on getting the card stuck down I'm not even bothered if it's not all stuck as long as it stays on, I'm going to be a happy bunny. I don't want to put glue in places where it's going to overhang, so I'm going to hold my thumb over the places that are going to overhang. I'm just using my art glitter if it will come out. Didn't put pin in, did I? Didn't put pin in. I bet you're really sick of hearing me say I haven't put pin in with glue. Could satellite A L E X A, sorry I won't say it and activate everyone's to remind me every I don't know six minutes if I put the pin in. <laughs> I suppose that would be good. Have you put the pin in? Can you pin it? Yes you can. Yeah, I mustn't sing too much. People be wanting royalties off me. I'll have Simon Cowell. <laughs> can't even say it. I'll have Simon Cowell wanting me to come and do cover versions. 
because they've got such an amazing singing voice do you think do you think i really don't i think only job simon cal would offer me was to sweep in stage yeah that'd be where my uh, talent levels lie <laughs> yeah can you imagine me on x factor i'm julie from sheffield what are you gonna sing I'm going to sing up a storm. <laughs> You've never heard out like it in your life. I think I've got these a lot less <laughs> Katie cornered than I had initially. They're a bit neat, aren't they? So I'm going to just stick that one out all randomly like you do. There's no right or wrong way is the end of day. However it turns out, if you'd not seen me make it, you'd have been like, wow, yeah, that's how that was meant to turn out. Of course it were, that was plan all along. What's that? There is no plan, therefore it cannot go wrong. And we want the ace of hearts. Like that, right, let's see if I've stuck it to my mat. Oh, I've done ever so well. I seem to have only got glue outside the belly band area in that one place so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a tool it's this it's this tool that you use to wipe your surface before you do heat embossing and to be honest it's got talcum powder in so I'm just gonna come over there with it get rid of any sticky me and I as well do that one that's it I've not got any at the top or bottom because we wouldn't want the belly band to not stick and I'm going to wipe that on me because <laughs> I don't want the talcum powder on my black page so there we have that I'm quite happy with that it came out not three bad there we go why is it now too tall when it was right height before what's that what's what what it's a good job I left some room at bottom. I must be psychic, you know. How on earth I'm going to line this up is anyone's guess. I'm just going to have to wing it. I'm going to have to, have to check that video back to see whether it lined up. I could have swore it did. Now it seems too short. What on earth have I done? Oh, Julie, give up. Do you know, I inked one card and forgot to ink others, didn't I? While I was talking. So let's come in and ink them. What am I like? We ink the card and the exposed edges of the belly band. Because there is shadow on the edges of these cards anyway, it's fine. It's just fine. Right, let's get stuck on page before it shrinks or grows again. Wow. So I like it anyway. That's the main thing, isn't it? Liking it. Top and the bottom. I could sew this page. No, because I wasn't going to sew that one, was I? No, I wasn't. No. I could just sew along top and bottom of actual belly band. That could do it. And now, because I'm a bit OCD, I'm going to look. Yeah, that's straight enough. I quite like that. That's really cute. Yeah. Cute little belly band. We like you. You can stay. Right, let's bring the 
rest of the gym yeah rest of the journal signature back in it's one of them what would you say if you could talk moments isn't it so pop those back in there and that back in there let's see what we've done i know we've not done oodles but we've We've made a start, so we've got a nice pocket there. Move your diary up. A couple of pockets there. Just gonna look so much different when things are in them. One there. I've ended up with two pockets there, top and side. A lovely tuck there and another little tuck there. That'll be great. <laughs> we've got that little corner took haven't we that might even look nice on there so yeah i'm quite happy with that start i do love that card belly band i think that could be my favorite we're going to do a little collage on there that turns that a tuck spot collage shall we say with some of the fussy cuts with the fussy cuts that are left over so I don't want to make that yet. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's not, I've not, you've not learnt anything earth shattering. Just basically been a bit of a craft along with me and see what I'm getting up to with Alice. So thank you for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow with some decorating some elements for, for Alice. I'll be doing the rest of the pockets off camera. So thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.